In this problem, we want to solve this rational equation. We got 3 over y plus 2 minus 7 over y minus 2 is equal to 12 over y squared minus 4. Step 1 in solving rational equations is to factor all your denominators. Now, y plus 2 we can't do anything with, y minus 2 we can't do anything with, but y squared minus 4 is the difference two squares. I'm going to do it over here on the side. With the difference two squared, we try to write it as something squared minus something else squared. You take a look at each individual piece, like the y squared, and you ask yourself, what time the self gives you y squared? And that'd be y. For the 4, that'd be 2 times 2. Now I'm going to label what's inside the first set of parentheses f for first, and what's inside the last set of parentheses is l for last. And our formula is f plus l minus f f plus l times f minus l. So everywhere we have an f, we'll plug in y, and everywhere we have an l, we'll plug in 2. This gives us y plus 2, y minus 2. So this becomes 3 over y plus 2 minus 7 over y minus 2 is equal to 12 over y plus 2, y minus 2. Step 2 in solving rational equations is to figure out the LCM of all your denominators and multiply everything by it. So I'll start with my first factor, the y plus 2. We're looking for the greatest number of y plus 2's in a single denominator. There's one here, none here, one here. So the greatest number of y plus 2's in a single denominator is 1. Then we'll go to our next factor, the y minus 2. And I'm looking for the greatest number of y minus 2's in a single denominator. There's none here, one here, one here. So greatest number of y minus 2's is 1. And we're going to multiply um, everything by this. So multiply it times our first fraction. We're going to multiply it times our second fraction. Now it doesn't matter if you put it in front or behind it. I'm putting it behind it on this one so I don't lose track of that negative in that. And we'll multiply it times a fraction on the right side. Well, over here, the y plus 2 is going to cancel. Here, the y minus 2 is going to cancel. And over on this side, y plus 2 is a cancel and the y minus 2 is a cancel. So we write down what I have left before I multiply it together. I got 3 times y minus 2 minus 7 times y plus 2 is equal to 12. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 7 times y is negative 7y. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14 equal to 12. Combine together like terms. 3y minus 7y is negative 4y. Combine together numbers at any step. Negative 6, negative 4 is negative 20. Step 3 in solving rational equations is to uh, solve for y now. This is a linear equation. We don't have a quadratic. Um, so assess for solving a linear equation. Get everything or um, get rid of parentheses. Get rid of fractions. Don't have any of those. I'm watching this silly um, <laughs> show on uh, AMC now. It's Halloween, so there's uh, like tons of scary movies on. And I'll focus here. Okay, third step of solving a linear equation is get everything with a y on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'll take negative 20 to the right side. Anytime you take anything across or equals, remember the sign changes, so it becomes a positive 20. 12 plus 20 is 32. Our last step in solving a linear equation is to divide both sides by a number in front of your y, which is a negative 4. And when you do that, these negative 4s cancel. And we've got y is equal to negative 8. Maybe. Because back to our rational equations, our steps for that, our fourth step for solving rational equations is semi-check your answer. So we've got negative 8. If we come back up to our original problem, and we'll plug that in. We want to make sure no denominator is equal to 0 after we plug it in. Well, if I put negative 8 here, negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. That's not 0. If I put negative 8 here, negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10. That's not 0. If I put negative 8 here, negative 8 uh, squared is 64 minus 4. That's 60. That's not 0. So this checks. And y equals negative 8 is our answer. 